Hey, what's going on guys? This is the Game Hunter channel with another episode of Clash Royale and in this episode, fellas, I'm super, super excited. I've been holding this chest opening for more than a week. I was waiting for the release of the Inferno Dragon before getting this uh, episode going. Uh, we have a super magical chest, we have a legendary chest, we have an epic chest, a silver chest, a crown chest, and a free chest? Well, let's get this right. Let's start with more, the most crappy one, which is the free chest. Alright, for some fingers. We're looking for... I'm looking for... Maybe the miner. This is my second account, guys. So this is, I, I only have the flying cow and also the ice wizard. So if we can get something extra, that will be more than cool. The other day I got a no. Oh no, I bought the the, the legendary chest that was available at the shop, and I was so upset because I got the ice wizard again. Like I really seriously, <laughs> what I'm gonna do with that? I can't even use that one in tournament. It's not even worth it. But anyway, all right. So we have also another little chest over here. One of the classic challenge. Let's open this up. There's not that many cards. Just trying new decks. Uh, but you never know. Maybe we can get something. Hey, we got one golem. I got a golem. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, this is the important part. Let's start with the silver one. Okay. Okay, do I need to start using the Goblin Hut? Apparently, yes. Okay, what else we got? Okay, that's not too bad. And using the skeletons quite a lot lately. So, that's not too bad. Not that bad. Now, let's go to the crown chest. Alright, we need some gold. Couple gems. A little giant. Uh, yeah, okay. I, yeah. Mega Minion, still useful. It's in one of my most useful decks right now, so I can't really complain. And we got the Dark Prince. Yeah, the Dark Prince. What can I say about the Dark Prince, fellas? It's a card that uh, a lot of us are asking for another buff, another upgrade, another boost. Because uh, um, probably need more extra hit points in the shield, something like that. Because it's still, until now, it's still kind of, it's not that great. Probably the only way that you can use the Dark Prince is when you use the deck with the P.E.K.K.A. and also the regular Prince. But uh, the Dark Prince itself is not that great. It's not that great. But this is a beautiful thing about Clash Royale, man. Things can change in one, <laughs> in one patch. That's it. Okay. Now, this is the important part, fellas. This is why we are here. We're gonna open first the epic chest, okay? We can get some princess, that'll be awesome. No, no balloons. Ugh. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, this is super sad. No, that's not what I was expecting. The, the epic chest, I was holding my breath for the epic chest, uh, trying to get more princess. Because the, the Prince is one of the cards that I've been using a lot in many of the decks. But, uh, alright. I guess it's fine. Super magical. Here we go. At least I'm gonna have some openings. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start playing more often. <laughs> I've been holding myself for the last couple of days just to be able to have the room available for the chest. Only one chest I can open at a time. That's why we had that silver crappy at the end. And though the, the other trees, the other three, I got those probably like a week ago. So it, it, it's been a while. Okay, let's see. A couple goblins, not too bad. I'll take that. And we can find some use for those minions. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding You know what? This deserves like a picture. I hate the expo. I, I, I haven't even upgraded. It's still level one. It's still level one. And I keep getting this card so often, it's not even funny. Fireball? Eh, okay. That is something. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm definitely going to use the Mega Minion. We got 61. That's not bad at all. And Rage is going to go to level 5, probably. Hey. Okay, let's analyze this real quick. We can go for the Mega Minion. Yeah, Mega Minion can go one more level. 
I'm gonna show you this deck in the next episode, fellas. It's been amazing. So we're gonna upgrade the Mega Minion. It's been working so far so good. So that's what I keep it. <laughs> I keep it close to me. All right, there is any promotion that we can get. We can get one of the magical. Should we open? Okay, let's open a magical chest before ending. Ooh, yeah, let's open a magical. All right, just to make sure that this episode is. You know, probably we can get something cool in here. I hope so. I hope so. Come on. Okay. I spirit. I can use that. Uh, I haven't used the minion horn in a while, but uh, there is definitely a uh, a valid strategy using the flying cow, the mega minion, and the minion horde. It's an interesting deck that we can try in a future episode, of course. Double fireballs. Mmm. Inferno tower. Not really. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna end this episode with rage, man. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Okay, and now the moment of truth. <sighs> Alright, so let's analyze this real quick. The only legendary cards that I have, fellas, is the Flying Cow and the Ice Wizard, which, again, is level 2. Which is not that useful, especially if you go to tournament or challenges. But... Uh, if I can get, um, I don't know, either Sparky, Miner, or the Inferno Dragon, I'll be fine. Ah, Lumberjack is not too bad. But <laughs> if I get the Flying Cow, I'm just going to shut down the episode. It's going to be just like that. See, that's it. No outro, nothing. Okay? That was me just completely shutting down the stream if we have the Flying Cow. All right. Here we go. Da -da -da -da! Sweet. Okay, the new. Oh, I wish I got this one in the other account. <laughs> but this is so cool. We can definitely, definitely. Wow, so it was useful to keep this uh, legendary chest holding for a few days. Wow, that is so cool. And now all the sound from a crappy <laughs> chest opening <laughs> or opening chest, I don't know how to say it, uh, episode, it become. Kind of like a good one. This is not bad at all. I have a couple ideas in how to use the Inferno Dragon. Either on defense or in offense. We can try this one with the Flying Cow. We can try this one with the Giant. There's so much potential. Like, you know what? I like it. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. I will see you in the next episode of Clash Royale. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also make sure that you're getting notifications of my videos. So, go when you when you click on subscribe. There's, there's going to be like a little box with a... If I'm not wrong with a bell, if you click in there, you're going to see, receive an option to check in a little squirrel. And that squirrel is the squirrel. <laughs> I'm getting so calm. You know what? Just make sure you get notification of my videos, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.